Welcome back, everybody, to Ark Survival of Five on the Fjord map. I'm an old guy, Gaming, and uh, bring you back for an update on where we are uh, with the base and uh, with the, the playthrough here. Uh, so, as you can see, I have enclosed our entire little plateau here uh, with walls, and we have three behemoth gates at the three openings. And then over on this end, I've begun uh, laying down the foundations for what's going to be our actual uh, base. Um, so, I'm still kind of I mess around with this a little bit. Um, I wanted to kind of put a like a an extra section here that goes out, so it's not just a a plain old ugly box. And I'm just thinking about maybe putting some uh, round towers on each end too, like lookout towers. And then we'll probably have like a little porch on the front, and then some stairs that go down to the water and stuff like that. And then you know, as we build it back here, we'll just make the the main base uh, where we will move all of our stuff. Uh, so yeah, we've made good progress. I, I played for several hours yesterday on Saturday uh, with the guys on the server. And most of the stuff that we did, other than what I showed you in the, the little montage at the beginning here, uh, was just, you know, busy work. You know, a lot of a lot of grinding resources and then making the walls and getting the walls and stuff put out. I do have some new critters here too, so let's take a look at those. We have a, a, a new beaver here because I was tired of gra gathering wood by hand. I haven't really taken uh, Jerry Mathers out yet. <laughs> <laughs> to, to level him um, so I got to get that done and I also um, tamed Barry Berkman here uh, who is our new uh, Barry Onyx um, so that way I now have a water creature I really like the Barry Onyx as early game uh, water creatures just because of their versatility uh, right off the coast we do have some oil deposits uh, too that Barry can can take us down to get when when the time comes for us to get new oil as far as my level goes I am um, wait a second. Hold on a second. I had to redo some s slots here. And this I want to be the tilde key. And my inventory should be tab, which it is. Okay. Resume. I'm just so used to tab as an inventory. Uh, so we are now level 82. And among other things, I have learned the Ingrams for scuba gear. And uh, we do have a reusable version of the scuba tank. I'm not exactly sure how that's going to work, though. Because with normal scuba gear, it wears... It, the durability goes out, and then you just repair it, and then you use it, You can use it again. So I'm not... I haven't tried it yet to see how it's going to work. Uh, in the base here, I have uh, built a fabricator, a generator, a refrigerator, and a grill. An industrial grill. I don't know that I'm going to do anything more in here, though, because all of this stuff, or at least most of this stuff, is going to be moved uh, to the main base once I get it built. So, you know, like putting in a chem station, for example, and a grinder and all that, I don't think I'm going to put that in, in here. For one thing, I'm kind of running out of room anyways on the ground floor. Um, and an industrial cooker and that sort of thing. I'm, I'm not even high enough to learn that stuff quite yet anyways. Uh, let's take a quick look at that. So if we go here, yeah, you got to be 89 to get the industrial cooker. Um, so all that stuff, you know, will go into the main base. I took one of my, uh, oh, yeah, that that's really big. In the montage I showed you uh, that I have now tamed a, um, well, she's over on this side, right here. <laughs> I've tamed a perfect, uh, perfect tame Argy, female Argy. And um, so... I haven't I haven't even leveled her yet because uh, she's we're gonna use her of course to to for breeding and until and unless and until you know we get uh, her offspring that's better than her which should eventually happen with the mutations and whatnot um, she's pretty much not gonna be used at all I don't I don't want her to uh, to accidentally get killed you know take the chance of getting her killed and then once we're finished with her for breeding then we'll level her up and, and use her and she'll be a great little RG for us um, also uh, Mythical, who is now playing on the server and has been a longtime gaming friend of mine, along with uh, Joe and, and Matthew, he says that there is a level 150 male Rex, because we still have the female Rex that I have here in the cryopod, which is uh, somewhere in one of these bins. The Stego's tail is knocking me around. Yeah, so we still have this female Rex. This was a perfect tame as well that I showed you, in, I think, in the previous episode, maybe. 
And so we want to, our main goal for today is to see if we can go find that 150 that's around Mythical's place and, and tame it. He's not on the server right at the moment. Um, so I don't know if he'll get back on before I'm done with this recording this episode, but hopefully will. And if not, we'll just see if we can find that ourselves and, you know, do the thing. All right. So I think that's pretty much it, um, to get you guys updated on, um, let's see, Barry, I don't know. I, I'm not, I don't even know what I want to give Barry yet in terms of, uh, stats. So I'll, I'll think about that later. But, uh, yeah, so we can basically let the animals hang out in the yard now because they can't accidentally jump off the plateau and nothing down below can get to them. I still have a snowball over here. And uh, so I need to take snowball out, get another load of stone, I think. We need to take Jerry Mathers out and get a load of wood. Yeah, he still has quite a bit of, well, actually, no, he's he's got a lot of stone left too. So we'll have Jerry Mathers get wood. We got a nice little supply of thatch there still. I'm going to do most of my building with stone just because I like the look of it. A, I, I can't stand the way metal structures look in this game. Uh, it's too early for us to do anything with the tech, you know, the tech stuff. And, uh, you know, the stone should be fine. There's not very many things in this game that, you know, can destroy stone. Like I know a, a giga can, but there's no gigas around here. I haven't seen one. Uh, so yeah, let's, uh, let's actually move. Uh, you're pretty heavy, aren't you, buddy? Okay. There, there is the possibility that, you know, Argents can come down off the mountain and have come down off the mountain to attack, you know, the critters down here. So it'd be best to keep them together and then, you know, put at least a few of them, if not all of them, on uh, neutral. So let's check and see. I don't want the birds in the inside to be on neutral because if something attacks and they're going to go ape shit. Uh, but as long as all you guys are on neutral, Rapta has a point. I've just been pumping melee damage for her. So she's uh, she's getting up there. She's pretty decently powerful for a Raptor. And I uh, see you are passive, so let's get you on neutral as well. Okay. And then we're going to take Grela with us. Yeah, it looks like the birds are all on neutral. I must have whistled neutral, so let's set them to passive just so they don't, like I said, um, fly and get get all messed up and everything. Uh, let's see. Let's give Pella just some stamina, I think. And I like fish. Let's give you a little more health. We want granite. Actually, you know what? Maybe we'll take granite with us. Yeah, let's take granite with us just so we have the extra support and mated, mated boost. And Mother RG, we want you on passive as well. Okay, so that way the birds should should not go batshit crazy if something happens. Let's get you down here. Just let granite stay out there. Okay, so we need to get our um, we need to get ready to go to go see if we can find that 150 Rex. Um, all right. So it, here, actually, you know what? I need to move the Stego out of the way, or the tail's just gonna drive me freaking nuts. Get out of there, Stego. There we go. Okay. You know, our Stego was a perfect tame too. Well, actually, was it? I think it was. I mean, it was a max level, but I don't know if I got all of the levels on it. But, you know, we could use it for breeding, too, if we wanted to. Uh, I don't know if I will, though. We'll see. Uh, let's go into here. And we want to grab all of our... Oh, you know what? I think I used some of the pieces to make the, the taming pin here that we were previously using for the, the Rex pin. So... Okay. Yeah, let's, um, these are the, the normals. These aren't even the S pluses. I think what I'm going to do is let's just scrap these. We'll get the materials back and then we'll make all S plus. Okay. All right. So for uh, the Rex trap, we just need, 
Do I have resources in here? Yes, we do. Okay. Uh, so we just need four foundations. So we want four S plus foundations. All right. We need 12 S plus door frames. Okay. And then we're going to need four ramps. Okay. So we got the four foundations, the four ramps, and the 12 uh, doorways, right? Because there's four on each side. Yeah, so that's a total 12. Okay, so let's put all of this stuff on Grela. Now, um, I'm going to look at something because... Oh, yeah, by the way, I did show you guys this. We got some really nice equipment um, fr from some drops. So we have an Ascendant crossbow that does 254.5% damage and an Ascendant pump shotgun for 252.9. Uh, really, really nice stuff. We also found a very nice pick that's almost 200% damage. A little bit better pike. Um, and uh, some saddles and some other cool stuff. But yeah, the, the pump shotgun and the crossbow are definitely the prize. So I want to actually look at something. Um, I'm going to bring up Dodo decks here. And we're going to go to... Rex and our Rex is 150. Our taming speed is four times. So if we feed, yeah, we can feed uh, the Rex just normal prime meat and we'll still get all 74 levels uh, with the settings that we have on the server. So there's that. So I don't need to uh, make exceptional kibble. If I did make it, it would only take five kibbles, whereas it's going to take 11 prime meat, but that just doesn't matter that much. Well, as long as we don't lose any levels, that's the important thing, which we will not. Um, okay, the other thing I wanted to look at is this, though. So our crossbow does 250% damage. So that means it will take 69 trank arrows as opposed to 70 trank darts. So because that crossbow, basically what that means is that crossbow does more torpor. Um, oh, wait a second. Hold on. Hold on a second. I got the wrong, wrong thing up. Okay. Yeah, this is even better, actually. So this is saying that um, the crossbow... It will will only take 40 normal trank arrows to knock it out as opposed to 70 trank darts out of a, a normal long neck rifle, which is all I have. I don't have a, an upgraded long neck. So, so that's actually really good. Um, so we're just going to use normal trank hours, arrows. It says there's a 0.3% a chance of death, but that's, that's not going to happen, um, you know, when we're using the, the crossbow bolts. So um, let's go over here. No, not over here. Over here. And we're going to grab, I'm going to bring the rifle and the darts anyways. I don't, I don't need them, but I'm going to use them anyways. And then, yeah, I said we just needed 40 trank arrows. We already have 74. And so according to Dodo Dex, which it's, it's generally been pretty close, not precise, you know, not precise, but pretty close. Uh, we should be able to knock uh, 150 Rex out with just 40 arrows from this particular crossbow just because it's so powerful. All right, and so we're bringing extra Trank arrows, and we're also bringing the darts just in case, though. That's good. Okay, don't think we'll need any narcotic at all. So let's go grab... Um, I got tons of prime meat, just gobs of it. Um, so we'll just grab like 100-ish or so of those. Uh, Dodo Dex is saying that yeah that we only actually need 11 prime meat so yeah very good okay i think we have everything that we need to go do this i need to get myself some food um so let's just grab some normal meat here oops i grabbed the wrong thing oh i know what else i was going to tell you guys i don't i don't remember if i pointed this out in the last episode or not um, I don't need to take that scuba gear with me either, so let's put that away. Um, in, on this map, whenever you come across those villages, like those old Viking villages, um, 
there's there's gardens and those gardens have uh, crops that you can that you can pick. What am I doing here? I'm going here. I don't need all of that narcotic. Guess we could bring some with us just for the hell of it, but we're not going to need it. Uh, yeah. So, oh, and I do have some bad news. Uh, we lost our pteranodon. It was killed by. Uh, can't remember. I can't remember how why it got killed. Yeah. I I think. I don't know. I don't remember why I got killed. I honestly don't. When, if I do recall how it got killed, I'll let you guys know. But yeah, we lost it, which sucks. There, I was doing something, and yeah, we lost it. So we're going to have to look for another trained on at some point, but we'll, we'll be fine with the RGs for now. We have to take the RGs for the Rex anyways, just because of the weight of all the equipment. All right, so... um, Yeah, you know what? Before we take off, let's just go up to this village... And, you know, I've just been grabbing a couple of times a day, just flying up here and grabbing the veggies and putting them in a the fridge. So, you know, we have lots of veggies already that we could use to make stuff. But I'm still going to do a garden anyways, or a greenhouse more precisely, just because it's we can make it in more quantity and it's going to be more convenient. Let's get a glass on this bird here and see what it is. It is a level 20. Okay. So, yeah, just in this little garden here, there's all four of the veggies, you know, the citronella and the long uh, rock carrot and all that kind of stuff. So I just come up here, pick them every day, put them in a fridge, and if we need to make kibble or whatever it is that we need to make, we'll have it. We already have it available to us, even without yet doing the greenhouse, which is nice. Okay, I think that's it for over there. Get some of the, the corn, or the long grass as the game calls it, and the citronella. We need the citronelle, among other things, to make exceptional kibble, which is what Rex's require. But here again, with our with our settings, we can uh, just use regular prime meat and still get a perfect tame. For those of you who don't know what that means, it basic, basically means you get all of the potential levels. Okay. Looks like there's one rock carrot right below the bird. There we go. So yeah, that's really convenient. And uh, if, if you guys are ever gonna play on this map, keep that in mind. You know, if you're if you're near a village, there's by the way, there's an alpha rex that's been stuck down there for a couple of days, um, and it's a pretty high level too, as I recall. That's a 140. Yeah. Um, the the problem I'm I'm planning on trying to take a problem is though is it's almost certainly gonna jump off that cliff and if it goes in the water we're going to pretty much lose it so I don't know I just let it sit there for now it's actually been there for several days in game days alright guys well here's what we're going to do I'm going to grab granite and then we're going to fly uh, across to the eastern end of the map um, mythical's base is he's right around 65 75 so kind of on the southern tip of the, you know, of the of the larger island there, and uh, so we're gonna head over there, and just kind of start hunting around for this level 150 Rex, and then if Mythical happens to, you know, hop back on the server, I'm on Discord right now, but I don't see him, then he can tell us exactly where it is. But otherwise, hopefully we should just be able to find it. So I'll see you guys over there. Looks like we might have another surface leads here. I wonder if we can kill it before it goes down. Oh shit. No, we don't want to get in the water. Nice. 82 prime fish. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Take that back and put it in the fridge when we get home. We'll lose some of it, but we should still have a pretty decent chunk of it. All right, so we are... Oh, what the heck is this? A glowing cave with probably lots of crystal and stuff in it. Uh, we are pretty close to Myth's area. In fact, it looks like that's maybe a... a yeah, here's his base right here. But, you know, I don't know exactly where the Rex is, A, and B... 
It's freaking dark now. What do we have here? A Tapahara saddle and a Megalosaurus saddle. Alright. Nothing super great, but doesn't suck, I guess. And do you mean to tell me that I did not bring any torches with me? <laughs> For Pete's sake. Alright, we'll have to make some. Uh, but anyway, we're going to have to wait until it gets lighter out before we can do anything anyway. So I'll bring you guys back um, when it's light enough for us to, to start looking. This red drop popped in across the way here. Uh, let's jump down and get it really quick and get out of here. It's very uh, hot here for one thing. Terror Bird, Rocket Launcher, and Pelagorna Saddle. All right, well, we have a couple of Pelagornas, so that'll come in handy. Okay, so let's start looking. Um, Myth just said in the Discord, he, he typed it, I didn't actually talk to him, that there's a level 150 male Rex by his place. That's all I got to go on. <laughs> so I um, guess what we do is we just start flying around and see if we can spot it. Don't know what it looks like. Uh, you know, in terms of color and that sort of thing. But we'll just put a glass on any Rex that we come across in this area and see what happens. All right, we have a level 85 female Rex. But I'm going to kill her just because I want to... I uh, don't want to come back later and see it again and wonder if that's the same one. There's a level 60 Rex. Looks like we got some beaver dams here. I like the colors of that terrain on. It's a 95. Yeah, a little too low. your weight. Get rid of this and grab all of that and then we'll get up in the air before the beavers come. Oh, they're angry. <laughs> what do we get? Uh, 493 cemented pace. Beautiful. I got thousands of rare flowers. That's not as big of a deal in mushrooms. It's mostly the cementing pace. Um, okay, well, let's keep looking for a little bit longer. There's a... There are a couple more beaver dams we could go after, but I'm not really... That's not really what we're here to do. There's wyverns over here. We might, uh... You know what we might actually do if we can't... We can't find a Rex. Maybe we'll tame a Wyvern. I wouldn't mind having one. Uh, we'd have to create ceiling pieces for our trap, though, too. And change it up a little bit. What level are we talking here? One, uh, 130. Or not Wyvern. I'm sorry. Griffin. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Griffin. That's a 135. That's a pretty high level Griffin. Um, yeah, we'd have to, we'd have to change our trap up for that, which we could certainly do. I don't remember if Griffin's, um, torpor goes down quickly either. We did bring a little bit of, uh, narcotic with us. Not a ton, though. Let's see what we got here. Some ramshackle chitin uh, boot schematic. All right. Well, I think we uh, are no longer "quote unquote" near Mythical's base. We've <laughs> gotten pretty far away from it. Um. So I guess there's not a whole lot more I can do 
until he gets on, uh, aside from just, you know, continuing to look. All right, there's the 135 Griff again. I'm, I'm a little nervous, though, with all the Brontos around. We'd probably want to set the trap up a little further away and then lure the Griffin away from the Brontos because we don't want any accidents. Yeah, what the heck? Let's give it a try. We'll put the trap up here. Well, actually, you know what? Though? Let me look. Let me look on Dota decks really quick and see what we're potentially up against here. So that Griffin's a 135. If we used Prime, we would lose one level. Not that that matters, because we're not, we wouldn't be taming this for breeding purposes, anyways. And they do have a high torpor drain. However, it is telling me here that um, we could, we'd still be able to get it without needing to feed it any narcotics. And we have some with us just in case that's a little bit off. Okay, well. Let's see, if we're going to do the griffin trap, we're probably going to need... We're going to need an enclosed trap that has two big doors, because I don't have a pteranodon with me to go through a small door. Okay, so what I'm going to do then is get started on this, and I'll bring you guys back when I have it ready. All right, guys, um... Just about finished with the cave. The griffin is actually right over there, too. He's come a little closer. Uh, so what I want to do here is get this as close to this as possible without it snapping. Um, I haven't been able to figure out how to get the gates to not snap, even with the G key. For some reason, they just like to snap. But I think, for a griffin especially, if we just put it right there, that should be fine. Um... And we'll put that gate on, and then we'll do the same thing over here. We're going to have to get that Argentavis away from it. Okay, so we'll get it mostly lined up, as close as possible anyways. That should work. Okay, so this door, we want the close delay on this to be five seconds. But I want this one to close immediately because this will be the exit door um auto close only set close delay to no delay then we'll immediately close okay i think we're ready to give this a shot here so what i want you to do is just kind of come over here and stay put. Keep you on passive, and we we do need to keep an eye on the honor or him rather, so he doesn't get attacked. Okay. Um. Yeah, so we got to get this Argentavis away from the Griffin. Let's see what level that RG is. It's a level 45, and the Griffin's beating the crap out of it, too. You're following me, right? Make sure you're on passive, too, by the way. Argentavis is down. All right, let's try this. He's angry. Yeah, 
Yeah, he's too close to us, so let's um make another run and see if we can be just a little ahead of him. We got him. Okay, cool. Alright, let's get you back over here. Alright, let me look on Dota decks really quick. We've got a 135 Griffin. Uh, it should take us 35 Trank arrows with the crossbow, but a 12% chance of death. We better definitely use Trank darts on this guy, and it's going to be 62 darts, according to uh, Dota decks. Alright. Um, hold on. Land. Stay put. Stay passive. He's angry. All right. This is this is going to be challenging with how fast he's moving. He hit me from over there. Hacks. All right, well, we've fired 60 off so far, but again, a lot of those are not connecting. It's hard to see. He moves really fast. You know, with the dust, it makes it hard to see. And uh, it's just not as easy to do this as it looks. Or maybe it doesn't look easy. I don't know. But we'll get him. There he goes. Okay. So that took us uh, 78. No, 88. 88 shots in total. But again, I missed uh, probably a good 30% of those. So if we would have gotten perfect hits every time, then 60. 60 does sound about right. Okay. that off of there. Its health is down to about 25%, 25 to 30. And according to Dota Dex, we're going to lose one level, so we'll get a total of 66 levels on this guy when he stands up. So that should be pretty good. All right, I'll bring you guys back when he's when he's done. The half of an eagle and the back half of a lion. It is if these two creatures somehow fuse together to form a superior land and air predator. While one's first instinct might be to approach the creature and marvel at its beauty, that would be a very poor decision. Its range of attacks makes it one of the most versatile predators I've witnessed. If its presence alone isn't enough to intimidate potential hunters, it has the ability to dive from the sky to the ground with such force that it inflicts damage to anyone unfortunate enough to be below it, or carry its momentum back into a rapid uplift. The idea of pacifying such a beast is nothing to scoff at. Its highly independent nature and disinterest with interacting with humans, combined with its power and strength, make the griffin a challenge to domesticate. However, there have been those who are fearless enough to attempt and succeed at this miraculous feat. Once tamed, riding atop a griffin along with a tribe made passenger, dashing through the air at high speed is a prize in and of itself. All right, that's cool. I was tabbed out for a second to look up the the commands for how to do the dive on the Griffin because I couldn't remember it and then when I popped back in this had already started. Uh, so that's cool. I didn't even know that uh, that that happened. That hasn't happened with anything else that I've tamed so maybe it's just unique to the Griffin or certain animals. Alright, Merv is tamed. Awesome. Um, let's uh, let's hop on Merv here. And uh, I'm not sure. 
I'm not sure what we're gonna need for uh, stats, but the first thing I want to do, yeah, let's leave the birds there. There's a, a 145 Anki over here, and I want to see if Merv can actually pick him up, because I need an Ankylosaur. No, he can't. Okay. Try that again. Just um, do I use a different key? Oh shit! We're already in in battle. Help me out, guys. Okay, Merv's almost out of stamina. I guess we ran out of stamina again, so maybe stamina is what we're going to need to pump. Well, what level is this other griffin? It's, uh, hell, I can't tell. It's a 130. Okay, so it's pretty high level. got to be careful with Merv's health, too, because it's not all the way back, of course. Yeah, he ran out of... I guess he runs out of stamina or something? Oh, his health is actually really bad. Okay. Um... Tell you what, let's get him inside of here. And put him on passive. And I'm gonna give him some more health and some stamina. Okay. Um, this could be a bit of a problem. Probably too far away for them to hear my whistle. Yep, out of render range. Shit. Okay. What we're gonna have to do then is take Merv back up close enough to call the birds back to us. stamina Can you guys come back to me and I want you to be on passive but I don't want Merv to get hit Six. Come here! Hold still! Damn it! I need to get a frickin' uh whatchamacallit? Grappling. Okay. Ah, 
There we go. So yeah, let's just knock him out over here and then we'll bring the other boys over here. They've got a very uh, uh, slow torpor drain too, so I don't got to worry about that. Okay, let's get the other boys over here. Boys and girls. And then we're going to have to hand pick uh, some may mayho berries. All right. So I think, guys, we're going to wrap up the episode here. I'm just going to get this Anki stood up, and then I'm going to take it. I'm going to escort it back down to myth space and just leave it there. And then, like I said, I'll have to figure out how to get it home later. But with that being said, thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this episode. And we didn't find our perfect tame racks, but there will be more opportunities, I'm sure, for that. And uh, I'll work on getting this taken care of. And then I'll bring you guys back in the next episode where we will proceed from there. I'm not sure what we'll do, but we will figure something out. We always do. Okay. Thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch y'all in the next episode. See ya. You got any mayhos? You don't. Know.